All right, we're keeping an eye on some severe weather concerns today, especially uh, in the lower part of the country, at least southern part of the country. This uh, locally heavy rain threat will continue as well with the thunderstorms and then some warmer temperatures into mid-May over the eastern half of the country. But temperatures here today in the southeast will be quite warm. We're actually talking near record tallies for parts of South Carolina, maybe Georgia and into Florida. Still cool in the northeast down into the Central Plains, the front range of the Rockies, but actually warming up over the Intermountain West as uh, temperatures here out ahead of this next storm system would be warm. Uh, but that storm slowly shifts east. And by this weekend and early next week, we'll have some cooler air kind of lingers into most of next week as well. But that ridge of high pressure will be uh, developing and allowing that milder air to settle on in. So here's Mother's Day Sunday. Many of us in the central U.S. at that point will be warmer than average, but so cool in the northeast, anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 degrees below average. But the extended outlook does bring in some warmer air over the eastern U.S. as we head into that uh, mid-month time frame. All right, severe weather concerns today from about Oklahoma and Dallas all the way to the Ohio Valley and mid-Atlantic states. Hail, high winds, even some isolated tornadoes, even a threat today and tomorrow in the northwest. But uh, tomorrow that thunder threat kind of diminishes, turns into a marginal threat over the southeast. And then by Saturday, just some general thunderstorms here there across the region. So there's a storm system. Again, the same one that brought us rain in California earlier this week, brought us some uh, chilly conditions in the southwest as well, starting to shift east, that stalled front of boundary kind of a focal point for the thunderstorm activity over the Ohio Valley, mid-Atlantic states. And there could be some locally heavy rainfall, maybe uh, getting into some flood concerns once again over parts of Missouri and Arkansas. But as I mentioned, the thunder threat starts to diminish a little bit later this week. Still looking at some one to two inch liquid tallies there. Also some precipitation in the western U.S. That could bring in some snowfall into those particular areas. But look at how warm it is today in the southeast. Still some cool air, though, in the northeast. Have a good one.